What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don Chi and today we're going to be going over this brand new Sterling by Ernie Ball Stingray 5 that I just got in the mail a few days ago. Pretty stoked on it. Uh, it came in from Amazon and um, I've always wanted a five string bass. Um, I always wanted an Ernie Ball so kind of came out a good opportunity so I snagged it and here's my official review. So let's get into it. So first off, um, how I acquired the bass is uh, I was on Amazon doing a little window shopping, not really looking to buy anything at the moment, uh, but looking at some five string basses and kind of came over, of course, the Ernie Ball four strings I was looking at originally. Uh, but I started looking at the five string prices and they weren't too off, too far off, not too bad. And um, kind of put in the wish list, but then found a kind of a steal uh, on the used guitar section uh, for Instrument Alley and ended up ordering it. It said it was like new, it was like 18% off. So I took a chance, ordered it, came in, and uh, to my surprise, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And also I'm uh, playing out of a uh, Joyo amp. Uh, this is also something brand new I haven't used before, but this is um, a miniature bass amp, uh, 10 watts only. I think this brand is a Chinese brand, uh, but it's a really nifty, really dope, kind of small practice amp for those who um, maybe can't be loud or have roommates or things like that. Um, but I know, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's got a couple plugins here, for, one for headphones and aux. I have not tried the aux yet, but you can um, play music out of this while you play. Um, so it has a volume now, a knob, a tone knob, and then a gain knob, and then uh, two uh, drives here. So a normal and then the overdrive, um, and then your input. So this is specifically the bass amp. Uh, I know Joyo uh, sells a couple different type of amps. There's an acoustic one. There's also a um, uh, electric, electric, electric guitar one, uh, but I got the bass one. They all come in cool colors. So yeah, definitely check out Joyo if you're looking to get a um, affordable, small, and great sounding practice amp. So back to our Ernie Ball music, man. So um, I'm not gonna go too much into the specs uh, for all you gear nerds out there. I'm just gonna kind of give my quick opinion on it, um, kind of like what I look for in a bass and whatnot. But uh, I'll start with the positives. Uh, I really, really like the tone. Hold on. I'm still learning how to pop a slap. But uh, I really enjoy the tone, man. It's really got that particular tone that Ernie Ball, Burt Basses carry. And I really like that. Um, so zero complaints on the tone, tonality. I really like the feel of the neck. Um, it is, what is it? Maple? Might be maple, rosewood, something like that. But um, I really like the feel of the neck. It's very smooth and it's very easy uh, to navigate up and down the fretboard. So yeah, it's very easy to navigate up and down the neck. I really like that. Um, it it uh, holds tune very well. Uh, that's something else I really like about it. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, my biggest things right there. It's just really fun to play. So the downsides, uh, some things that I particularly don't like. The biggest thing for me is the body neck uh, weight ratio. Uh, the neck is particularly kind of heavier than the body. So I, uh, I almost feel like I'm kind of trying to hold the base up on this side uh, as opposed to it being more balanced on this side to hold up. So sometimes depending on what kind of position you're playing in, it can uh, get kind of straining on the wrist, trying to hold it in position if you're standing up as opposed to sitting down or whatnot. But um, so that's my first complaint. Um, <laughs> Uh, when I first got in the mail, the, these knobs were just a little bit loose, um, but it was a used one, a used like new, so I'm not too upset about loose uh, knobs. You can fix those pretty easy. But 
uh, particularly the neck balance was something that I was a little disappointed in. But uh, I ended up snagging this bass for a smooth 360. Um, so not a bad price for what you're getting, man. Like this, these basses, man, are kind of timeless. You can kind of uh, play any genre with them. With them, you can kind of conquer a lot of worlds with with uh, these type of basses. So I mostly seen them in rock music, but I know a lot of gospel players that play with them um, and a few other genres. But yeah, uh, overall, I probably have to give this bass a smooth eight out of ten, man. Very little complaints. Uh, I'm still learning some bass grooves myself and, and brushing on my skills, but um, yeah. And uh, maybe I'll do a separate video for this Joyo amp, but um, zero complaints here. I found this um, on Amazon for $3.99. I got it for $3.60 because it was a, a used one, but um, definitely worth the investment if you're looking to get into uh, different style of basses. Um, the only other bass that I've owned is a Fender jazz bass uh, and acoustic bass. So it's my first five string, pretty stoked on it. Uh, probably gonna put some heavier strings, gay strings on these, some thicker ones, cause I like to play some metal shit. Type shit. But, uh, but yeah, but no regrets on this purchase. And if you have a chance, y'all grab one, so. Uh, I'll leave some links in the bio. I'm a musician and also a hip hop artist out of Dallas. I'm sorry, Atlanta, Atlanta. Um, so y'all check out some of my music. Um, and yeah, let me know what else y'all want to see reviewed, man. This is what I do.